Curvy right here with you again. Let's see how the lighting works now because I've been sort of recording for the last 30 minutes and the lighting has sort of changed in a, bit, in a while. Like sort of changed a bit. Um, so today I had a little adventure and I decided to share with y'all. Maybe some of you guys have had the same experiences, feel the same way. Um, so since I was a kid, I've had like this anxiety type deal with my hair. So I'm very attached to my hair. I had, I guess it started when I was really young and I had really short hair, but I seen all my friends and all my family had super long hair, really beautiful, um, wavy hair and I wanted it. And so, um, I remember I would cry and there was even a family member that bought me a wig. Um, thank you very much, Norma. Uh, she bought me a wig and she was like, this is for you to play with. And I was like, always want to wear it. And, uh, my son, my mommy even reminds me sometimes of, um, there was instances where I really wanted long hair and so she would put ponytails in my hair and I would hang um really long necklaces from it. I'd be like, oh, I love my hair. So <laughs> that being said, as a kid, my mom knew that my hair was has to grow out. So it grew out eventually and by the time I was like six years old in, in kindergarten, I had really long hair down to my butt and nobody could cut it except for my mom because I would cry. So my mom would trim it and she'd be like, I'm taking this much and I will show you. And so in the end, she would show me and I'd be like, okay, she just took that much. It's cool. Because she would tell me it would break off and if it breaks off, it's never going to grow. So I would let her maintenance it. So as time went on, I let my sister cut my hair after that and she like legitly, I'd tell her cut this much, that's how much it would cut. When I was around um, 16, I started doing highlights in my hair. And I know I, in another video I, I mentioned that I, I, I highlighted my hair. And da, da, da. There was only one person that would touch my hair at the time. That was my hair Joseph Buckle. And he would, like, highlight and then tell him, I need this much off. Like, this minuscule, like, like less than maybe an inch off. He would cut an inch off. And that's all. So I was like, woohoo, like, this is awesome. And so um, I was very excited that he was able to do it. I mean, recently another person has started to do it at the same shop, but he knows, like, this is how much you're going to cut. Do not cut more. So, yeah. Now, to today, I had been asking my sister, please cut my hair. I really need you to cut my hair. Um, I really need a haircut. Well, um, it just so happens she ended up moving towns, and now she lives back home. So then now I don't have anybody close to me to cut my hair. And I really don't trust any of my friends to cut my hair because I've never seen them cut hair before. So I can't really be like, hey, you know how to cut hair? Cut it. You know, um, so I was like, okay, it's not like I have to cut my hair all the time. Let me go. Let me ask one of my friends. One of my friends had just cut her natural dreads off, and she was just like, I went to Walmart. The ladies are amazing. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. I don't know what happened today. I was just like, I'm going to go cut my hair. I have time. I'm going to go cut my hair. So I go to Walmart. I wait, and I'm sitting there, and I'm super nervous. So this lady comes up. She hair is beautiful, blonde, curly, really pretty, wavy. And she's like, um, are you waiting for anybody in particular? And I was like, no, ma'am. And she's like, okay. I was like, I'm going to tell you before I sit down. I am super nervous. I'm going to ask you to cut that much. I was like, if you feel like you're going to go over however much I, you have me, I want you to cut my hair. I was like, tell me and then if I don't want you to go that much over then I just just don't and she's like okay so I explained to her what I want and it was sort of like a long wavy bob but I didn't want the bob part I wanted the back part to be like a normal with um with layers on the bottom and I I was just sort of like this is what exactly what I want so she says okay she's like I can do that that's like three inches and I was like do two and she's like okay so I was like, I'm sorry, I'm just really nervous about my hair. So she's like, no, no, don't be nervous. She's like, I know exactly how you feel. I really hardly ever let anybody touch my hair. Um, if I could cut my own hair, I would. And I was like, okay. Whew. Okay. So she's cutting my hair, and she's like, okay, I'm going on to the second inch. So she cut it inch by inch. She wanted to make sure that I was like chill and so finally she's like okay i got the two inches off i'm about to put in layers you want to see the length i'm like sure i looked to the back it's a perfect length i told her go half a half of an inch more because i want a little bit more off because it was still really blonde on the bottom um because my hairdresser put an ombre uh subtle ombre look see how it's like 
highlights and then you, you open my hair and you see like more like blondish in there somewhere okay so um so it's more blonde down here than it really is blonde up here which i love because that's what i asked for and <laughs> he's amazing so he did it um so then uh i went ahead and i I sat there and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, please save me, like, please don't, like, uh, let them, like, chop all my hair off, and I told her, like, my biggest fear is for me to, like, get off of your chair and have, like, a bob, and she says, oh no, don't worry, like, I'm not going to cut a bob, like, it, this is what I'm going to give you, like, she explained to me, she's like, I'm cutting, so she was chill, done, she did it, it was awesome, like, first I was like, okay, cool, like, I see, I said, thing. the only thing that I don't know why I, if I could go back for um, is because I when when my hair was straight before she curled it, um, first off she had it she had it parted in the middle. That's fine because when you cut that's if that's the way you have to put it, that's fine. When I went like this was my problem. This part was shorter than this part. And she's like, Oh, because you have hair from the back. So she went ahead and re like fixed my hair and she was like, okay, she's like, I have a little bit of cut off, which is just like a little split, like a, like a little cut. And I was like, okay, cool. Like you could do that. Still really nervous because even when I do that with my hairdresser, like, no, like <laughs> you don't see any of that. So she cut it and I was like, oh my gosh, like how is my hair going to look? I was very nervous. So then she styled my hair. Oh, sorry. Oh, she styled my hair. In styling my hair and everything, she curled it all up and she left it with the part in the middle. And I was like, cool, maybe she wants to do the whole part in the middle because I showed her the picture. The picture that I showed her had a part in the middle. I never told her that I use a side part, but then, of course, she's never styled my hair, so she doesn't know. Like, my, my personal dresser already knows um, how I style my hair. And in all honesty, I don't, I feel like I would go back, um... I I have to gain that trust, but like the fact that like yeah, I'm super I was super nervous and like she like like it's the same length like it's the same length it's not it's I was nervous at first that's that's part of it. I was like oh hell no so I mean if I guess my advice would be if you're super nervous about cutting hair or if you are comment below and share any like crazy stories that have happened. Um, I know that there are probably many out there, and uh, I would really like to hear them because that would make me feel like less of a crazy person for freaking out over hairdo. Um, also, I would like to hear like any any um, comments that you have. Like, I really want to go probably like a burgundy red. I don't know yet. Like, I'm still like debating um, of what well, maybe just like a copper red, um, like um, like a cinnamon red. So I would really not like a red red, but like a cinnamon red. I really want to see how, how it looks and see if it'll look nice on me. Um, that's pretty much it. I did the part in the middle when I got home. I wet, I waited till the, till the curls relaxed a little bit. They're still really, really curly and it looks a little bit puffy, but I mean, I guess that can settle down a little. My curls are usually a little bit, a little bit bigger, um, because they probably get bigger chunks of hair and I probably don't leave it too curly sewish. But other than that, I feel like I did good. The only thing that I didn't like is that these at the beginning weren't even. And then also I did tell her to cut it straight in the back and she left like a little bit of a U. Um, but other than that, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better, a better experience from Walmart nonetheless because there's a lot of people that were telling me like, oh no, Walmart's probably like the worst part, the worst place um, to go cut your hair. But really, she was a really nice girl, a lady. She was a really nice lady. She um, was nothing but professional. She did her best. The only thing also, um, when the when I seen the price, it was eighteen fifty, and then she was like, it's thirty four something. And I was like, oh man. I was like, okay, well. Um, and she's like, because it was a style and the cut. And I was like, well, right there it says adult cut and style 1850. She's like, but it's, I don't know what, what her reasoning was for it. But, like, I came in with the whole notion of, like, oh, you're going to blow dry and style my hair. Cool, because that's 
badass. But I was like, it's fine. $30 is what I pay for um, when I highlight my hair. And um, yeah, I'm not used to it. But anyways, I was like, that's fine. And then one of my, my friend who was there with me, she was like, hey, um, it's Tuesday. Her haircut should be $12. And she was like, oh, that's right. I charged you $15.50. And I was like, okay, well, here you go. And she's like, okay, well, there you go. She's like $3 back and whatever. But um, ultimately, it was a pretty good experience. I had got my hair cut, and it's something different. If you look on my past, um, if, you look, if you look on my past, I'm sorry, my computer, like, was like, bah. Um, if you look on my past uh, videos, uh, you'll probably see that I have like really long hair up to here on some of them because I hadn't cut my hair for a really long time. And when I came to college, I just like started like going a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter. Um, but it's it's very practical to have a little bit like more manageable hair and um, something that you don't have to uh, have to like maintenance all the time because if I were to highlight it whenever I wanted to highlight it or if I wanted to like highlight or go completely blonde like I planned to do it a couple years ago I would have not been able to maintenance it at this time like I would I you're a college student you have time you don't have the resources um there's nowhere to do it here it's really uh, our town is really like small where I'm at so I feel like that's something that you will really have to pay attention if you're ever going to go out of town or to a new town to move but anyways besides the point go ahead and let me know if you have a crazy story please subscribe and comment below and like the videos and don't forget to tune in next time bye guys